All right, so I'm building New York City in Bloxburg. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Faulty, this is probably going to be another project that you're never going to finish. And you're totally right. Uh, I'm probably not going to finish this. <laughs> but for all of the wrong reasons, see, in Bloxburg, you have this thing called plot data size, and you can't go above 100%. And the most you can go above 100% is, I'm pretty sure, 115%. And as you can see, we've got one third of the, the, the plot done already, and it's already at 45 percent plot data so there's probably not gonna be any interiors for any of these houses oh my god the grass is still green i mean wait the grass is green yeah i don't know what i'm saying anyways i have done some stuff off camera and that's because i was on vacation for the winter break and now i'm back so i had all that free time to work on whatever this monstrosity is i mean even now it's not as detailed as i want it to be um but i think i'm just gonna go through everything that i've done so far so you guys get the memo also if you guys are trying to build this yourselves i'm gonna try and go through a step-by-step -step tutorial for each one of the housing units i mean it's literally the same couple of styles just copied and pasted next to each other it's it's very modular but yeah so we've got one strip of homes right now and we've got a bunch of these custom trees which really bring it all together i i, I think but i'm just gonna go through it quickly for how like things were made so the windows are obviously how i normally make the windows it's it's the this shape it's this window and then you just resize it a bit and then you get your structurals and and then you just drag them around the edges really nothing too complicated here where it does get complicated or it's not really complicated but it is kind of complicated but i'm gonna try and explain it as best as i can uh is this little trim that's entirely copy and pasteable and this takes up like one percent of the entire plot data itself oh yeah and there's a little curved window at the very top okay this trim is basically situated on one little shelf right here and that's so i can copy and paste it to every single window that i play and then on top of the shelf is a bunch of basic shape now this bottom part is pretty simple to understand it's just basic shapes situated on top of the shelf so you could probably play around with a couple designs here and just make something yourself and it's just copy and pasteable all the way but where it gets complicated is whatever's up here and this is a structural well yeah obviously it's a structural and the difficult part to understand here is that i use the structurals on the bottom part of it so let's just say i did this dragging stuff i actually moved it up to this part just like so looks kind of scuffed right now but uh it's it's for the sake of explanation but now this is entirely copy and pasteable but aside from that <laughs> it's basically the same thing from the bottom just copied to the top yeah i'm not expecting you guys to understand this part so uh yeah good luck <laughs> but anyways that's how i did most of the windows now as for the trees they're probably the second most complicated thing but they're actually really simple when you look at it and for the tree i got the idea from this tiktok right here uh so credits to them vesimos but also credits to whoever's in the bottom so i'm gonna break it down into small steps and you're only gonna have to use small grid placement for this so first we're gonna start with a small basic shape and then we're just gonna take a giant pillar uh where are the pillars and then we're just gonna take another vertical cylinder basic shape and we're gonna resize that to its skinniest or actually it's down to preference however thick you want to make your trees and then next you want to take your horizontal wedges and you just gotta rotate this and make it smaller so this way it looks like a, a tree trunk thing and it really doesn't matter how perfect or imperfect it is it's literally a tree they they won't notice it i think and then this will basically be the trunk of the tree and you can just color that wood or whatever texture you really want and then next you want to take this decal and just place it around the tree i'm gonna leave the decal code in the description and i'll probably try and put it on the screen right here and then you just place it around the pillar and that that's pretty much it you have a you have a tree and then you can just resize these however you want bada bing bada boom tree anyways i'm gonna undo that because one tree costs uh 25k i'm pretty sure oh wait no it only costs 6k now, as for the buildings, they're very simple as well. And I'm gonna load up an empty plot so you guys can visualize this without being too overwhelmed with everything else. So, most of the buildings are a 4 by whatever deep box. That's basically repeated throughout the entire city, just along a giant strip. Occasionally, there'll be a 5 by whatever deep box and then there's also another variation of the five by whatever deep box and it's got a little curve to the front but that's all that's being done in terms of building in the city now there's obviously a couple of other tricks that i'm using and one of them is that i've 
placed all of the buildings on the second floor so that way I could have like the little uh drop with the stairs and what I mean by the drop with the stairs is this little part where it splits up to the second floor and then down to the first floor and the way I did that was I used a giant roof as the sidewalk so it's kind of elevated so this is actually the first floor and this is the second floor but I used the roof to split that in half and this was probably one of the most frustrating parts while building this and I'm definitely not doing this on camera but I'll try to explain it anyways and I, I seem to get stuck like this very often okay I'm gonna try and explain it so first thing I did was make a roof so you take the flat roof and you go all the way to the edge of your plot and then you just make a sidewalk and then basically all you have to do is drag this up to like let's say halfway I don't know how tall this is really but uh, just give it some height and then oh yeah so you just give it some height and then that'll allow you to take a stair and essentially place it like that so it makes it look like you're going up from the ground um this is kind of scuffed but that's basically how I did it now for the part that goes below I used basic shapes not too many of them but you just take a basic shape and then you just place them on top of each other and maybe you could resize them and you get something that looks like a staircase but this is obviously incredibly scuffed so please don't do this I'll try to leave a screenshot of every single one of the layers for the city before I continue working on it this video but I would be impressed if someone managed to recreate this but this video is mainly for inspiration anyways all right so now that I've basically explained how I did most of the left side I'm just gonna copy that over to the right side and maybe by doing this you guys could see like how I actually made the buildings because I'm gonna do it on camera instead of you know whatever the monstrosity this is done off camera it's like off camera mining when the minecraft youtubers go mining for like several hours that that they say and then they just show up with like 15 stacks of diamonds anyways let's get started I'm just gonna start building with what I already have and I'm just gonna copy and paste them over to to the other buildings that I've made so first up's the stairwell obviously you, you gotta have an entrance to your building somehow and this really isn't that complicated it's a basic shape and then a couple of stairs and then obviously a door to lead into the home and I'm just gonna speed up that process for you a bit I'm gonna voice over a lot of this video just because you know it took that long to build this I mean it didn't take that long it was like an hour and a couple minutes I guess they really do call me a speed builder so now that we have this done I'm just gonna put a little garden bed underneath so then we can place trees later on nothing too difficult it's just a little funky when it comes to placing roofs under another roof because you can't see anything but anyways and then after that I'm just gonna start working on the buildings once again I don't know if it'll be that obvious to catch the style of building that I'm using here and you should also not worry about the trim that I'm placing at the top of this beige looking building because that took way too long to make and I don't expect anyone to copy this anyways but yeah don't try it anyways the process is sped up once again just because you know it took so long to build but I hope it becomes clearer what I'm doing in this I mean I'm watching this back and I still have no idea how I did this so that's not a good sign in the end I'll probably upload a speed build on my second channel I don't know where my second channel is right now I haven't uploaded on that for a year but you know I'll see so now I'm just gonna go in with a bunch of the windows that I explained earlier in the video I mean <laughs> it's the same window I use every single build so it can't be that hard to make right right one thing I can say for sure though is that it costs a ton of money and then as we get to putting the trims on all of the windows it just becomes that much more expensive and the plot data just skyrockets like I I, I don't even know uh, I think it came out to being like 96.5% plot data in the end so that's great to look forward to anyways after that I'm just gonna go in with you know this really realistic looking tree that I'm really proud of for some reason you know just just for fun because uh, I, I do want to see what this thing looks like when both sides have trees and buildings fully decorated on the outside also one creative thing that you could probably do is move your trees up and down like uh, I did with the transform tool earlier that way there's like a bit of height variation with your trees it just looks more natural and then I'm just gonna repeat the same process with the trees and the buildings and the roofs and the windows and the window trim whatever just gonna repeat that for the next two houses over as for the house on the very corner of the block I'm gonna leave that for the last moment of the video because I have no idea how I'm gonna build that and you'll see in the end that I actually still have no idea how it looks good or not <laughs> but you know it is what it is and I'll probably revise this town eventually maybe during my free time maybe not on camera like this was hard enough to do on camera like holy heck man the amount of motivation that you need to like film on camera and 
speak is is on a different level Alrighty, now that this block is done we can move on to this other block that i really want to do smiley face but before that we have to work on this giant piece of pavement that i i don't i don't even know what i'm doing right now i'm looking at myself and i'm just placing a bunch of dots all over the place oh i, th I think i'm trying to make like a little terrace at the back uh, but once again we're back to putting a bunch of stairs on these buildings and just decorating the building on the outside you know at one point it got really repetitive but then again it looked really good so might as well pull through with it but i'm sure you get the gist of it at this point <laughs> stair building window repeat roof repeat terrace repeat yeah, yeah. trees i love trees where, where did that even come from You know what, the more I build this, the more I realize that I'm just going back to my copy and paste uh, routine. <laughs> like every single building in this build or in this city is practically the same. The same with the colors. I mean, it is more color that I play with, but still they're washed. Like the colors are washed. I, I, I haven't made something vibrant in, in so long. This is the most vibrant thing I've ever seen and it looks so lame. Anyways, now to continue building. You know what I've realized? It's it's when you place the window trim that the build starts coming to life. Like the amount of shape that it adds to the buildings here is absolutely insane. At the same time, it takes up the most insane amount of plot data because it's consistent of so many shapes. And I'm not even gonna lie, I don't think I did that good of a job on making them either. Like they could they could be so much better. They could be so much better. Everything could be so much better, but obviously I haven't done that because I'm a lazy piece of Yeah, anyways, back to building, back to building. I got this, I got this. Guys, I just got an absolutely horrendous idea to make a giant tree. Like, you know how in those brownstone New York neighborhoods, they always have those giant oak trees. Or I don't even know what kind of trees they are. They're just massive and really bushy. You know, uh, if you still don't know what I'm talking about, try imagining a piece of broccoli. But uh, basically, the plan is basic. I see what I did there because I'm using basic shape. Okay, no, no, never mind. Never. Yeah, I'm just gonna make the same tree that I made over there, but I'm gonna rotate a bunch of pillars to make it look 
really bushy. Scratch that, this is taking too long and I've spent too much time on this and the amount of money to spend on one singular tree is insane and I can't even get this to look proper. So I'm just gonna place a bunch of the other trees that I, that I had before because you know, they're, they're, they're good enough. They're good enough. I'm also gonna place a bunch of random trash cans and fire hydrants because why not? It adds a little to the street side and it's been, it's been looking bare empty for a while so it's, it's time for a change. Anyways, moving on, I'm just gonna spend the next hour of my life working on this masterpiece of a corner building that still doesn't look good in the end but I'll, I'll still call it a masterpiece because I spent that much on it. Like, I, I don't know what my goal for this was. Oh yeah, and you can see me doing a lake here. Um, uh, I actually have no idea what I'm doing this for. Maybe I'm planning into the future. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so this building was meant to be a cafe from the very beginning but obviously, you know, it didn't turn out to look like a cafe. That's probably because I didn't, you know, put the, the signs and everything and the tables outside. But essentially, it follows the same process that I've used for all of the other buildings around it. Just the windows, a bunch of trim and whatnot. You know, the usual stuff, the usual stuff. And I wasn't really happy with the three-story thing that I had going. I, I thought it was way too high for a corner building. At the same time, it, it, it took so much away from the rest of the plot. So I had to revise it a couple times. Yeah, I'm looking at it now and I, I still hate it. Like, I, I could have put something else here, maybe. Also, the alleyway next to this thing is really out of place and that's probably because there isn't a New York City background like it's just a bunch of green grass and surrounding hills so if that was a New York City landscape that probably would have you know made it look better yeah I went through a couple of designs for this I ended up going for this uh thing that we've been doing so far for the build where I have the little curve part sticking out so the colors I played around for a little bit I, I first made it green and then I made it beige and then in the very end I made it the same color as the light beige building next to next to this one so yeah that's just me being indecisive but once that was done all I had to do was add the final touches to the building which were like the window trims once again and then that was pretty much it for this anyways now that all of the buildings are practically done I'm just gonna add something kind of quirky to the side and you know how in those alleyways in New York City they have those like stairwells and uh, I, I don't know what they, like, you call them there, there's ladders or stairs and then platforms they're just made out of metal and then there's just a giant dumpster alley you know the the, the really homeless people places. I don't know if I should say that for YouTube. But yeah, that's what this ended up being and it turned out pretty well actually, so I'll just leave it here. Anyways, now we're on the final stretch of the, the building of the town or neighborhood, city, whatever you want to call it. We're just doing some gardening here and some pathwaying, path, path, pathing, whatever. So I've just spammed a line of trees and then a little garden bed. And then we're also putting all the wall trim that we need around the buildings to give it, you know, that extra shape that makes it look like a cake or the layers of a cake. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know why this is a thing. It's just very characteristic of New York City apartments or brownstones. So yeah, that's why those exist. Okie dokie, and once that was all done, we finally came to the final stretch. Oh wait, no, never mind. There's one more thing we need to do, and it's the lights behind the windows, and this just makes it look like there's some rooms that are, you know, occupied at the time, and then some rooms that are, you know, not occupied. Wow, that was... <laughs> and also, along the journey, I added this dumpster alleyway that I was talking about earlier. Just some minor details. Until I realized that the plot data was already at like 80% and I couldn't really do anything for the bottom right part of the build. So then I decided to make a park. Yeah, the park. Hmm, yeah, it's a park. Like, I, I, I really don't know what you want me to do with a park. I tried looking at, you know, the Central Park in New York City, but that was obviously way too hard to recreate, especially in this area. Plus, it's not realistic to put these next to it. I mean, it kinda is, but I, I, I don't know what Central Park really looks like. Anyways, I give it my best shot with whatever I create here. It's not bad, but it's pretty bad. It's just a bunch of trees surrounding a lake and then a little gondola. Or what was it a gondola? Oh no, it was a fountain and a bunch of seating. But to go about that, I started with the landscaping and I used a mansard roof and I recolored that. I also mixed in a couple of pyramid roofs. I don't know when that happens, but it happens eventually. So that way there's like a little, you know, difference in the angles of the elevations. And then after that, I just started spamming a bunch of trees for no apparent reason. And with not much purpose either, they they're just randomly spam. But once that was done, I finally added the fountain, which brought it all together, kind of, not really. And then just some bigger trees, you know, just to fill up the space. It was it looked really empty, but I was so worried for the plot data exceeding. Obviously, I could buy 20%, or I think it goes up to 40%, but I kind of want to save that for the interiors if I do end up doing that. 
think of it as a little wise decision from a very young kid that's on YouTube building New York City. And what is New York City without any cars that are very colorful and parked on the side of the street in illegal places next to fire hydrants? Aside from that, it basically brings us to the end of this build. Okay, so this is what it's come out to after maybe an hour and a bit of work. Yeah, I've just spammed a bunch of trees in, in the park. I really didn't know what to do for this. And the main reason for that was because I was approaching plot data size or the the 100% the, the mark, whatever you call it. Of course, I could buy more plot data and I might do that if I do plan on furnishing the interior, but I can't really call this a finished product yet because, you know, I haven't reached that point yet. But yeah, this is what we've managed to build for New York City. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's actually one of my best builds along with the Japanese town, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. There's obviously, um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> unfinished part but i'll probably get to that later in the year i just man this view is so perfect oh my gosh yeah i don't know what to say i'm really proud of this actually i probably could have spent a little more time on it like i got lazy with some parts especially with the copying and pasting of the the window trim i guess i'll take a quick flyby through the entire city before before i end the video okay so for the buildings they're literally buildings and i played a lot with the color scheme but these are basically the color palette colors like the 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 you know the one blocksburg gives you but what i've done to them is i've readjusted adjusted the darkness value or the shading of it so that's why it looks a little different but these are all basically the Bloxburg colors I think the only notable thing about this town is the fact that I've raised it and then I've added this little stairway split I don't know what you really call that but I think it adds a lot to the build yeah I'll just walk through it really quick here we go down the sidewalk looks very nice a bunch of trees doesn't look too bad but I feel like you know if I had a bit more plot data and, and maybe a larger plot it would look a lot better because now I'm just peering off into a giant land of green blob but anyways all of the houses are pretty much accessible and you could probably furnish one or two of them as you can see i've just come out from the bottom part but aside from that this is pretty much it on to the next project